What's the best place to meet guys? Yeah. Maybe like a coffee shop? Coffee, coffee shop. shop. Yeah. So that's my main goal other than for a man to walk up to me and say, oh my gosh, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in this place. But I think I'm starting to realize that I am not an ambitious person. Not anymore. A lot of these ladies are sitting there, you know, there ain't no good men left. All the good men are taken. Quit believing that, dude. When we search online for where to find good men, we often see suggestions like coffee shops, gyms, parks, church, the list goes on. If you ask many women today where they think you can meet good men, they'll likely give you similar answers. But can they be actually correct? We are about to find out from these next clips I will be sharing. But before we dive in, I need you to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. If that's done, then let's dive right into it. What's the best place to meet guys? Yeah. Maybe like a coffee shop? Coffee, coffee shop. shop. Yeah. yeah. Grocery store? Yeah. Trader yeah. Joe's? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about the beach? Yeah. Beach is good. Okay. Yeah. Where have you historically met guys that you actually like? Coffee shops. Yeah. <laughs> The idea that there are specific best places to meet good men, as some women suggest, isn't quite accurate. Good men can be found everywhere, not just in coffee shops, parks, beaches, churches, or even gyms. The real issue is that many women set very high and unrealistic standards for what they want in a man. These expectations can make it hard for men to feel like they measure up, often pushing away those who are genuinely good. It's important to remember that everyone has flaws, and setting the bar too high can prevent forming meaningful connections with people who could be great partners if given a chance. I am going to a new coffee shop to work at because it's a gloomy day and I have about two and a half weeks of emails that like, I actually need to answer and I've been procrastinating. So that's my main goal other than for a man to walk up to me and say, oh my gosh, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in this place. I I want your number, like, can we hang out? So that's a goal too, um, but yeah, here we go. From what we heard, she's off to a new coffee shop, indicating she's tried others before without success in finding a good man. She mentioned her main task would be to reply to emails, but she also hoped a good man might approach her. It seems fair to say that her primary goal was actually to meet a good man. Interestingly, the good man she's looking for might have already reached out to her among those unattended emails. It's a common scenario where many women might overlook or friend zone these potentially good men. They might dismiss these men simply because they don't match the specific image or criteria they have in their minds. We got another lady listing the qualities of her dream man, and she also adds what she has to offer. Let's have a look. This is what I look for in my future husband. A man who wants a relationship, who wants a family. A deal breaker is an atheist. I'm looking for a masculine man, a traditional man. What I have to offer are the three C's. Cook, clean, and conceive. I am ready to devote myself to my husband and my kids and to love them and take care of them with my entire heart. She believes she's ready for marriage because she's prepared to cook, clean, and have children. However, is that really all there is to being someone's partner? That's an important question to consider. Like many, she has an image of her ideal man, someone traditional, masculine, and if possible, of a certain religion. Yet, it's essential to recognize that a good partner can come with different qualities than those we initially imagine. She's decided she wants to be a full-time housewife, expecting her future husband to be the sole provider for the family. While there's nothing wrong with this choice, it's also okay for a woman to contribute financially. Helping with expenses can relieve some pressure off the man and foster a sense of teamwork in the relationship. After all, marriage is about partnership and working together to build a life that works for both individuals involved. 
Saying she is committed and prepared to look after her kids and husband makes it sound more like a job agreement. Naturally, taking care of one's own children is expected. It's part of being a parent. If she doesn't do it, who else will? Parenthood and marriage aren't just about fulfilling duties as if ticking boxes on a contract. They're about love, care, and mutual support. It's about willingly sharing life's journey, including the ups and downs with your family. So, while being devoted is admirable, it's also a fundamental part of the relationship within a family, not just a job role to be stated. Some modern ladies actually see marriage like an investment plan, where when you're tired of working, you just get married and that settles it. Let's check out this next clip. Hello, beautiful souls. So I want a husband that can, that basically can take care of me. I've been dealing with a lot lately and I'm just thinking about my future and I would really love to just meet someone and and you know have be taken care of and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I know there's lots of people who strive to be ambitious and there's nothing wrong with that but I think I'm starting to realize that I am not an ambitious person not anymore that's not who I am and if I find someone <clears throat> or if someone finds me and they want to take care of me then I think I'm okay with that. And I think I'm okay with that because I feel like that's me being myself. Um, some of us are made to be ambitious and some of us are not made to be ambitious. And I think I am not the ambitious type. Now, will I find someone? Who knows? That's for the universe. She essentially confirmed what I was saying earlier. She's exhausted from working to support herself and is now looking for a man to take on that responsibility. This is her main reason for wanting a husband. However, being able to look after oneself is a key part of being an adult. So when she makes a video saying she's tired and needs someone else to take care of her, it sends a concerning message. Doesn't she realize that men can get tired of working too? Men continue to work, not just because society expects them to, but because it's part of being responsible and an independent adult. Her statement implies that she expects a man to have reached a certain level of financial success before he can even consider being her husband. She also mentioned that she's not ambitious, saying that some people are ambitious while others aren't. Without ambition, one might become a burden or liability to others. What kind of man would want to marry a woman who might depend on him for everything? She dreams of a luxurious lifestyle, but isn't willing to work towards achieving it herself. Only Chad can provide her with this kind of life. However, the reality is that such men might only support her temporarily, seeking their benefit. And once they get what they want, they move on to someone else. This scenario shows a disconnect between her expectations and the effort she's willing to put in. I will round up with this last clip of a man giving an honest opinion of why most good men can't be found by most ladies. A lot of these ladies are sitting there, you know, there ain't no good men left. All the good men are taken. Quit believing that, dude. There's a lot of single men still left in the world. The problem is, is, you know, they're looking for someone classy. They're looking for someone respectable. They're looking for someone that fits their needs, man. And a lot of times, women, especially nowadays, they don't want to fit a man's needs. A lot of women don't want to be a traditional woman. Nowadays, a lot of women say it's hard to find good men. They often want a masculine man, well-respected, and can afford to pay for their fancy lifestyle. However, these women may not be willing to meet a man halfway or to fill the role of a traditional partner, which involves being supportive, making compromises, and sharing life goals together. When a woman focuses mainly on a man's wealth or status, she might miss out on what really makes a relationship work well, like mutual respect, shared interests, and being there for each other. A good relationship is about both people helping each other grow, not just one person trying to meet all the demands of the other. 
The idea of what it means to be a traditional partner has changed a lot. For some, it means taking care of the home, but for others, it could mean being supportive while also chasing their own dreams. The most important thing is for both people to talk openly, set their expectations straight, and be ready to support each other. Without this kind of understanding and flexibility, finding a good man or a satisfying relationship can be really challenging. This will be all for today. What do you think about these videos? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.